talking about they, they took me who took you took you where you have to get me out of here all right good it's so hot slow down tell me where you are small room metal there's a heavy door it's locked heat is coming down from the ceiling the temperature's rising fast yes small window yes a small window how did you know We're gonna die, Ryan. We're gonna die! Hey. We're not gonna die. Oh, Jesus, it's hot. I'm gonna figure this out, okay? Hang on. Just hang on a Wait a minute. Can you hear that? Tell me if you can hear this. I think so. I don't know. The bang! Can you hear the bang? They're turning up the heat here. Help me! I'm trying to help you. What about this? Can you hear this? What's going on, Ryan? Ryan? Hello? Remember who took you? No, I just woke up and I I was here. Tell me everything that you can remember. I was at the hotel, I think. Yeah, with, with those two girls. No, no, please. What's happening? Turn it off. Bruce? Turn it off. No, please don't. Please. Just make it stop. Make it stop. I'm burning. I'm fucking burning. Help me. Do I 
have your undivided attention, Mr. Hens. Ask anything, but I will give you the chance to figure out the answer. What the hell is that supposed to mean? It means you get one shot at answering the question. You're fucking crazy. That may be the case, but you're the one locked up. You wait till I get out of here. That could be sooner than you think. Guess the answer and I'll let you walk free right now. What's the question? Two minutes. As many guesses as you want. What's the question? Just guess who I am, Mr. Hens. Say my name and this can all end right now. Two minutes. Wasting your time. What are you hoping to achieve, Mr. Hens? Okay. I arrived in Houston last night. We, uh, we signed a deal, but we're not celebrating. I meant, uh, the investor for a drink with... You're the man! The drink with Bruce. Um, mm, there were two girls there. Um, <laughs> and, 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 Mandy. Mandy. No. 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 The investors, I don't know, uh, the investors, one of them, um, um, what were their names, uh, um, uh, Luke, Luke Farrell, Luke Farrell, um, Carl, Carl, uh, Carl, fuck is her name, Dasani, Luke Farrell, Carl Dasani, and, 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 and Bob Mickison, one of them, you're one of them. Which one? How the fuck should I know? Oh, fuck you. Wrong answer. Hey. Ah. Hey. The heat? Can you hear me? Turn the heat off! I'll do whatever you want, do you hear me? Just tell me what you want me to do. I'll do whatever you want. Those are the magic words, Mr. Hens. Whatever I want.
Let's see if you're still joking when your flesh will start to cook and your lungs will be seared by dry, hot air. You're trying to scare me. I'm scared, okay? Good. Now that you understand the seriousness of your situation, I think we can begin. Just tell me what you want. All in good time. For now, I need you to get the phone. you to focus on the task at hand. I'm focused. I want one million dollars of your money. What? A million dollars? I... Hey! I don't have access to that kind of money. You have two hours. <laughs> two hours? <laughs> the room is now exactly 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Every five minutes that goes by without me being a millionaire will cause the temperature to rise three degrees. You have already sweat profusely. Therefore, your tolerance for heat has diminished. You've already felt what I can do, Mr. Hens. I suggest you get started. Okay, look. I'm just a regular family guy. I don't have that kind of money. Not my problem. I can't do it in two hours, okay? I, I, I just can't, even if I sold the car and the house, everything. It, it, it could take me weeks, months even. Look, I don't know. I don't know what. What do you think I am? You've wasted over a minute trying to convince me. I suggest you use the rest of the time to start transferring funds. Funds? What? Funds? Jesus Christ! I, I work with wealthy investors. I'm just a broker. You understand that? I have a wife and a kid waiting for me at home. Works as a teacher part time to help pay the mortgage. This is my son. Larry is seven. He broke his leg last year learning how to ice skate. We know everything about you, Mr. Hens. We know more than you think. What school you went to, how old you were when you stopped wetting the bed, the names of every man your wife dated before she married you. Well, if you know all of this, then you know why I don't have this kind of money. So you might as well kill me now. <laughs> all right. Get you money. I can't get you a million dollars, but I give you everything that I have. Please just let me out of here. Okay? I don't need two hours. I can do it right now. I'll give you everything that I have, okay? Please. Just let me go. Okay? Look. That's everything. That's all that I have. Please. Hello?
Sergeant John Hinn, please. Sergeant. And who, may I ask, is calling? Uh, this, is, this is his brother, Ryan Hinn. Please wait a moment. Wasting your call time, Mr. Inns. Gotta go. Who are you talking to? Oh, none of your business. I'm trying to get you your money. Until we're done here, everything you do is my business. Now, who were you talking to? Nobody. You could simply say you were talking to your brother, the cop. You really think he can help you out of this? Just take it and let me go. Smash it. Why? You're throwing away $10,000. I said smash it. you to listen to me very carefully and do exactly what I say and don't ask any questions. Are you okay? I said no questions. You don't sound okay. Look, I'm just in a bit of trouble. Financial trouble and I need you to do something. Have you been gambling again? No. No, it's nothing like that. I'm sending you an account number. What do I do with it? number and I need you to transfer all of the cash you can into it. The joint account savings? No. No, it's already gone. Then what do you expect me to transfer? Money you made from selling the properties your old man left you. That money we agreed was for Larry. You transfer the money, Anna. 
You do it now or bad things are gonna happen. You understand me? Ryan, are you threatening me? No. I'm trying to keep us above water, okay? I will get it back, I promise. Will you do it? I'm sorry to bother you like this, but uh, I need a favor. Mom? You didn't even ask about your father. I'm sorry. Uh, how's he doing? Is he all right? He doesn't know who I am when I visit him. Last time, he called me Edith for an hour and a half. I'm sorry to hear that. But, uh, Actually, part of the reason why I'm calling. Always the same with you, isn't it? Only call when you want something. <laughs> want something? Are you forgetting who sends a check every month for Dad's care? I don't see John rushing home every month to give you a check, huh? That's not fair, and you know it. John doesn't earn enough, but at least he keeps in touch. And he's been having such a hard time since Adam. Not that you'd know anything about that. You never call. I don't want to talk about you. Then what do you want? The trust I set up for Dad's home. What about it? I need you, uh... I need you to transfer all the money that's still in it back to me. I can't do that. They expect the next payment in a few days. And without I will that... get it back before then. I need that money, Mother. I just need it for a few days. Fuck! I will get it back to you before then. Do you hear me? I will get it back to you before then. I need that money. Fuck! I need it now! Hello? Shh. Hello? Mom, it's me. I'm sorry for cursing you. Well, you upset me. I understand that. But please just listen. I'm in a bad situation. I don't want to go into details. But I need your help, Mom. Okay? More than ever. What's wrong? You said you could find me. Nothing's wrong, and I need you to remain calm. I can't stay calm. This guy's gonna kill me if I don't get a million dollars. Forget about the money. We're right outside. You are? Oh, thank God. We traced the phone signal just like we said we would. It's just a shitty warehouse complex. Just get me out of here. 
We're about ready. We've got a full SWAT team waiting and ready on a go. You hear that? Fuck you! Ryan. Ryan! Don't say another word. Sit tight. We're coming for you. What? John? John! I'm in here! Can you hear me? I'm in here! I'm okay. Everything is gonna be fine, baby. Can you hear me? I'm in here! John, what's wrong? What's happening? Everything. I'm sorry, bro. We're in the wrong location. The signal from your phone's been routed to an empty building. You could be anywhere. And there's something else. There was a note. What does it say? Yeah, just three words. Read it to me. Bad, Ryan. Just read it to me. I have them. Are you there, bro? I'm gonna do everything I can. I need you to try and remember. Try and remember who took you. Any detail from when you were taken could be helpful. Every action has a reaction, Mr. Hens. It's not fair. You're cheating. I want you to go upstairs. I want you to lock yourself in the back and the police are on their way. I'm scared. They're going to kidnap me too. Ryan! Anna? Anna? Where is he? Your wife is safe. For now. I guess you won't be. How do I know you won't be? What's the matter, Mr. Hintz? You don't trust me. You're over nine hundred thousand dollars short, I'm afraid. Sorry. Touch me. 
you know what? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm exhausted. Only. I didn't think I was going to hear from you until next month. You got good news for me? I got better than good news for you, Bob. Let me get my DSLs ready for you, because I'm about to make a shit ton of money. But you got to understand something, Bob. You cannot go blabbing your mouth to your fucking poker buddies. You heard of Moorhead. You ever heard of him? Yeah, I'm a client. Hair transplant business. Bob. New hair restoration system at the end game right now. And the little fucking birdie tells me he is about to be approved. Or bottles, or sprays, no transplant, no surgery. A fucking magic pill. It works. Full head of hair. Pussy in your lap. Sitting on your fucking yacht. That's why they call it inside fucking information. Of course it hasn't been approved by the FDA. That's why I'm bringing it to you. You want to wait? And you want to wait till it goes and gets FDA approved, and it's on the open market, and the fucking prices skyrocket. You want to buy the shares like everybody other fucking moron out there? Be my guest. I don't give a shit. But you're not gonna make the money I'm talking about, Bob. 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 What do you say? You got me, Daddy. Fucking time. All right. I need you to transfer the funds today. You do that? Shit, man. You need it today? Yes, if I'm gonna kill it for you like I'm going to, Bob, I need the money right fucking now. You're an animal. I don't like it. Okay. Transfer the funds to the usual account. I'll take care of the rest. No sooner said than done. Let's go piss for you, Bob. Ryan Hintz. Oh, hi, Ryan. Look, I uh, I was just calling to see how things were going. Uh, yeah, the family was. Yeah, we've been doing pretty good. Kids got tuition. Did I tell you he was accepted to Yale? Wow. Congratulations. That's, uh, that's quite an accomplishment. Chip off the old block. But, uh, hey, can I call you some other time? You know what, Ross? I just want you to give me 10 seconds, okay? I want you to give me 10 seconds so that you can hang up knowing what you're missing out on. Okay, what do you have? Thank you. Now, have you heard of a company called C? Yeah, they're the glass manufacturers. That's exactly right. What about them? Last I heard, they were down about a point and a half. <sighs> That's a good thing, though, Ross. Okay? They're down right now. But what nobody knows is they are developing a brand new bulletproof glass that is going to launch in November. Bulletproof glass? So what's new about that? It is new, Ross. It is very new. Okay, what's on the market now is bullet-resistant glass. You see the difference? Okay? It's only bullet resistant. What Seaview is creating is 100% bona fide bullet proof. That's special. Okay? You know, that that's something that can make you money and save lives. Okay, I can see how it's going to save lives, but how's it going to make me money? Very good question. It's a very good question. I have a very good answer. You see, right now, Seaview is negotiating a deal with the United States military to retrofit all of their vehicles to Afghanistan with their glass. A 
okay? Huge. Yeah. Yeah, Ross, that's huge. That's why I am calling all of my most important clients. Okay? Now let me ask you a question. Because this stock is going to triple in value. How much equity did you pull out of that mortgage? I had to pull out 200000 Imagine what your $200,000 can do in just a few days. In days? Triple in days. I don't know, Ryan. That sounds too good of a deal. I can lose my house here. I can lose everything. 200000 is everything I have right now. It's my whole nest egg. Ross, I never do this, but I feel so strongly about this investment that I am going to guarantee you personally that you are not going to lose a penny. Okay? Now I want you to think about your family. Yeah. I'm going to have to pass, Ryan. But uh, maybe we can get together next week. Wait, Ross? Ross? Two hundred percent return on your initial investment of fifty thousand dollars is unheard of. That's why I'm calling you. Look at all of the analysts, okay? Everything says that this is a for sure thing, and I'm just telling you right now. You want to? Hello? What do you mean? When did I lose you money? Hello? May I speak to you, Mr. Dennison, please? Hey, what the fuck? Why would you take my calls, motherfucker? Right, I get it. Okay. You have a nice day. Fucking pussy. That's what I'm fucking telling you. It is going crazy in here right now, okay? We are all fucking high five. I swear. As a Jew to another Jew, I swear on the Holy Bible. I swear on the Quran. I swear on my vault. I'm sorry, I didn't know you were born. I didn't realize you were born. No, I apologize. That's what I'm fucking talking about. $846,000. Your fucking money is coming, you happy? Now, can you cut me some fucking slack on me? No, don't put me on hold again, okay? Don't put me on fucking hold again. Say no to me again. Say no to me again. Fuck you! Ryan here. You in? My secretary is going to send you confirmation right now. Like I forgot to miss it. You are my most important client. Brian, I have a hundred other clients that I should be talking right now that I'm talking to you that I want you to make this deal. This is a good fucking deal. See?
How are you holding up? I'm getting roasted like a fucking pig, John. How do you think I am? Hopefully we will have you out of there soon, man. We got a hold of the cell phone company. We have your location narrowed to about a 15-mile radius. I got guys swarming the area right now as we speak. That's nice. I don't have much time. Look, stay with me, Ryan. Concentrate. Do you remember anything? Anything at all that can help us find you? I was checking out of my hotel. I'm going to my car. That's when they grabbed me. That's the last thing I remember. What did he look like? He was wearing a mask, John. And it was a mask. You have to give me something more to work with, Ryan. John, is it possible that my blood is actually starting to boil inside me? I gotta go, John. How 
wanted you to know about them. done everything that you best. Not quite, Mr. Hens. You've done what you've always done. Lied your way through a situation. <laughs> give me another chance. Okay, just give me another chance. I can give more money. I can get you more money. I know. Just give me another chance. You do have one last chance, but I'm afraid the rules have changed. It looks like you have just under five minutes remaining. What? To transfer all four million dollars into my account. That's the account. Your account. How did you get this? The same place I got the password. If you already knew it, then why did you do this? I wanted to give you a chance. A chance to redeem yourself. But you failed. No. No! That money is for my family, okay? You motherfucker. We're crippled with debt. It was for Anna, for my children, for... For Anna. I bet. I found it everything. I found it, man. Ah. Mr. Hens. Mr. Hens. Yes. Could you please confirm the password we have on file? One, three, C, three, four, R, M, X, L. Thank you, Mr. Hens. We received your inquiry to make a Delta transaction of your full account balance. I would like to make a Delta transfer of the entire account balance. Yes, sir. Consider it done. Uh, looks like we have all the transfer account information. Could you please confirm once more your wish for a Delta transaction? Yes, do it! <sighs>
Yes, well done. I knew you could do it, given the right incentive. I know you let me go. Not yet. We still have some unfinished business. I did everything that you asked. Yes, but did you do it for the right reasons? I think it's time we talk. What could we possibly have to talk about? We have plenty to discuss still. I left you some water. Look to your left. sick. starting to pity you. I'm doing great. You don't look great. Far from it, in fact. Well, I guess I have you to thank for that. You know what you wanted. Strong. Talk 
it's you. Yes, it's me. Did you see him? Did you see his face? No. I only heard his voice. Didn't see him. Never saw him. I'm scared, honey. What's going on? I'll explain everything to you later, I promise. But for now, I need you to try to tell me where you are. Describe it to me. I'm in a dirty looking room. The walls are made of metal. It's old, rusty. There's a door with a tiny window, but nothing else. No! And it's warm. What is it? What's wrong? Maybe is there a small window? Is it clear enough to see out of it? No, I, I can't make out much, but I can see a silhouette. I think it's a man. It's okay. I need you close. Ryan, where am I? What the hell is going on? Do you want to tell her or shall I? Ryan, who's there? What does he want? I need you to calm down. Things will only be harder if you get hysterical. Who the hell are you? Now, that is an excellent question. But I'm not sure you're directing it to the right person. What is he talking about? Don't listen to him. He's insane. Go on. Tell her what I'm talking about. Mr. Hens. Why is he doing this to us? What did we ever do to him? It's about me. If you tell the truth, I let you both walk away into the sunset hand in hand. First question. What is your name? You already know my name. Think of it as a control question. Ryan Hitz. Is that your only name? What kind of question is that? Be quiet, Anna. Answer the question. Yes, it's my only name. Should she trust a liar? Tell him you're not lying. Question two, what do you do for a living? I'm a broker. It's so hot. I'm burning up. What do you do for a living? It's so hard yeah. to breathe. I get people to invest! What do you want me to say? In what? I don't, I don't know. It just depends. I don't know what you want me to say. The temperature in Anna's room is now 131 degrees. What do you get them to invest in? I don't want to die in here. Tell him. Whatever I tell them to! And what happens after they invest? Ryan. Ryan. 
Hannah. Hannah. Oh God. Why are you doing this to her? She's your wife. She deserves the truth. She didn't know. What about Leslie? What does she have to do with this? What about Anna? They need to know. Anna? Who is Anna? What does she need to know? Tell her. Answer the question. Anna. Anna is my wife. I'm your wife. What the hell does she mean? Your wife? Who is that? Who is Anna? I thought the situation deserved a conference call. Talk to me, Ryan. I'm your wife. Who is this bitch? Leslie, shut up! It looks like you have some explaining to do. what I do, but I saw opportunities and I took them. Rich women, bankers, private investors. I told them what they wanted to hear and I took their money. Can you hear me? 
please, please. You have to know, you have to know, you have to know that. And I'm, I'm so sorry. Please know that. I never let him know I don't forget you. I love you so much. I love my son. Very touching. Just let them go. Ryan, Ryan, are you okay? Triangulated your position. We'll be there in 15 minutes. Just hang in there, man. It doesn't matter anymore. I'm sorry. Ryan! you to pull out the gun from the box in front of you. yourself and I'll let them go. It ends here. Or you tell me you'd rather them die. And I'll open that door for you right now. All you have to do is choose. Okay, Ryan. If 
It's all over. No, you were too far away. I take something that didn't belong to you in the first place? I never hurt you. Is that so? Not like this. Do you remember Adam? Of course I remember Adam. Jesus Christ, I'm sorry you lost your son. What the fuck does that have to do with this? When was the last time you called him? Can you tell me that? Ryan, come on. Was it Christmas? I don't remember. Was it his birthday? He was your nephew. I don't know. You don't know because you never did. Not once. Last summer, I asked you to meet me at Margie's diner. Yeah, I remember. And do you remember why? He needed a favor. That's right. I was asking for your help. Now do you remember what I asked for, or does that escape you? A loan. You want it alone. Now, do you remember what that loan was for? I don't know. You didn't ask. You just turned me down flat. You said times were hard for you and Anna. But you didn't bother to ask what times were like for me. Times were hard. It was for Adam. The money was for him. The cancer was eating my son from the inside. My insurance wouldn't pay for the only treatment that would have cured him. The fuck didn't you just tell me that? My son was dying. Slowly, every day. I couldn't find the words. I just needed you to understand. I forgave you at first. You couldn't help me and I accepted that. But when I found out just how rich you were... So how did you find out about the money? About six months ago, I got a call. Some rich broad reporting a break-in. You might recognize the address, 225 Richmond. Leslie. Yeah, Leslie. Can you imagine my surprise when I walked in there and saw the wedding pictures on the mantelpiece? You and her arm in arm all happy and shit. I remember your wedding. I was there. And it wasn't some rich bitch. You should. Why? Adam was already dead. And I was so pissed at you. And you think that... Then that makes us all right? Oh, fuck, John. You killed people. Anna and Bruce. I didn't kill anybody. You heard what I wanted you to hear. Your buddy Bruce did exactly what I asked him to. And it didn't take much persuading. You see, he's just like you. He's all about the money. You didn't kill him. I'm not a murderer, Ryan. 
But I did see an opportunity, and like you, I took it. Mom, was she a part of this? Nah. No, she's not. That was just Mom being Mom. What about Anna? I heard them screaming. <laughs> You heard what we wanted you to hear. I went to Anna and showed her the pictures from the wedding. And then they came to me. Told me what a line sack of shit you were. John did some digging and it wasn't long until we figured out how far your lies went. You hurt us all in different ways. We just wanted to see you pay. We needed you to confess. We had to hear you admit to betraying us. We needed to teach you a lesson that would change your life. Let you feel what we've all felt inside. And don't forget the money. We all wanted the money. Fuck you. Fuck all of you. I just need to know one thing. Did you mean it? Did I mean? You said you were sorry. Did you mean it? You said you loved me? With all of my heart. Ready to die for me? What the fuck did you do? Oh, Jesus Christ. Done, Ryan. Did you really think that you could swindle a swindler? You knew. You knew it was us from the very beginning. Well, maybe not from the very beginning. He's lying. Am I? He, he's just trying to fuck with us. Now where's my money? I guess it's just you and me now, John. And last. 
last and not least, there was the finger. It was Leslie's ring. It wasn't her finger. How could you have known that? Like I said, details. What did you do with the money? How are we even fucking late? A Delta transfer, John? <laughs> it's bullshit. It's a security exercise. Money's gone for an hour and then they transfer it right back into the original account. He seemed confused. So let me make it very clear. You are not getting a fucking penny. How did you know the gun wasn't loaded? I didn't. I love Anna. I always have. If I was wrong about all this, I couldn't let her die. And if I was right, I didn't want to live. Help me clean all of this up. And we'll just walk right out of here. And continue our lives like none of this ever happened. Ryan!